Hi everybody, this is Vasu DG. Welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I am going to share the two concepts, the meaning of statistics and importance of statistics. These are very important that the statistics in education. Let us see that first, what is the meaning of statistics? <coughs> statistics is a branch of mathematics which deals with the collection, analysis and interpretation of data obtained by conducting a survey or an experimental study. This is whatever the study, whatever we are, the survey we are doing that, whatever we are conducting the, the research and all, first we have to collect the data that. So, the process there, the collection and analysis and interpretation, overall the process that what we call the statistics. Statistics can be defined as the collection. One more, uh, the definition is that uh, the statistics can be defined as the collection, presentation, and interpretation of numerical data. So, statistical, the whatever the collection of data that is in the form of numerical, okay, numerical form. So that we have to by by using that one we have to analyze and we have to interpret. <coughs> so this is by Croxton Road. <coughs> And that means statistics deals with numerical facts that can be measured, enumerated, and estimated. <coughs> That's about the statistic. Okay, whatever we are collecting data, that we have to the analyze and interpret, interpret the data. So total is we call the statistics. Now let us see that what are the importance of statistics in education. So in education, the role of statistics is very important. That each Every, each and every teacher should know this, the statistics. Then only he can improve in his teaching learning process. <coughs> now first, the importance of this, the collection and presentation of data in calculated and systematic manner. So whatever we have, the collected uh, data and all, it should be arranged in systematical manner. So without arranging the data systematically, we cannot analyze the data. We cannot analyze the data without analyzing we cannot interpret also therefore whatever the data is very very helpful in calculating and the in systematic manner <coughs> so the first importance so that means data should be arranged or well organized manner for that the statistics very important and second one is the statistics makes teaching learning process more efficient so yeah, so it makes the teaching learning process more efficient in practice. Statistics education with special consideration to measurement and evaluation are essential parts of the teaching and learning process. To evaluate the students' learning, <coughs> we have to use we have to use the statistical. So while conducting the test and all, we have to collect the data. On the base of the data, whatever we collected, the scores or marks, we can interpret how the learning is taking place. Therefore, totally it helps uh, in teaching learning process more efficient. Without statistical data, we cannot evaluate the students properly. Next, it helps the provision and presentation of exact type of description. So, that means it helps in provision for exact type of description mean the sense helps in teacher to give the accurate description of the data. This could be found in case of case of the administration of the pupil or observation of the child. So whatever by using the data and organize so arrange it properly, systematically we have to arrange, then we have to analyze, then only we have to interpret. So that means we can give the proper accurate description of the data. So that is useful for the administration or the of the pupil or that observation of the child. So that so how we can observe properly the student, how we can make them to improve in teaching learning process. That is, uh, is very useful. That is one of the importance of this statistics. Next, its, con its conditions want to be definite and exact in procedure and thinking. <coughs> so that means it's, it shows the importance in calculation and thoughts. So how we have to calculate the thought, thought process is different. 
and also teacher to describe the performance by using the proper long weight and symbol here he can use according to by using the data and all he can use or uh, describe the performance of the student by using the proper long weight and symbols because without that uh, proper long weight and it has own language the sir has own language and symbol by using that we can interpret or we can describe the performance of the student and the help of this statistical approach definite and exact interpretation by using that particular the data after analyzing we can interpret very definitely and exact interpretation we can give on the basis of data what we have collected and just organized systematically so then statistics helps in summary of results here the statistics in education important because it enables the cal calculation and adequate summary of the results in a meaningful and convenient form and statistics gives the order to the data so whatever we have collected data we have to interpret on the base of the whatever the analysis okay now overall summary we can give by using the statistics overall the summary of the result that we can give by using the statistic on the base of statistic only we can give summary how far he is uh, learning is taking place like that we can give the summary of the and next statistics aids one to predict more accurately so here whatever that the 80% of prediction done every day comes from the statistics of related events or the experience so whatever the prediction we have some data on the base of the data we can predict so in uh, election time and all we have seen that some exit poll and all how they are collecting the information from the public and all so may not be 100% may not be at least uh, 80% prediction they give okay, they will predict, predict that on the base of the data what they have collected so here yeah, that in educational uh, statistics so more than 80% you can use and it come <coughs> you can uh, guess that whatever what will happen in that so all that <coughs> we can use that a statistic the teacher can predict the probability score of the student in final examination from this entrance test so from the suppose by seeing this uh, there is his performance and all we can guess definitely he will get a rank or outstanding performance in the final exam like that because his consistent performance in all the tests achievement test and all we will can uh, predict what he will ha it will happen in future in the final examination because he is very helpful uh, in predicting the more accurately in future and last thing that uh, statistics helps in analyzing some of the casual factors okay so here the teacher will analyze some of the casual factor underlying complex that means why particular student perform poorly in particular subject in very and many okay here some students are very weak in a particular subject okay and very good in other subject why he is very weak in that so we have to identify the strength and weakness of the student then only we can make them to improve or we can change the the teachers the, you know <coughs> technique of teaching and all so therefore here so we can analyze the common casual factors so those are very very poor or some are average why they cannot improve in further all we come to know that so therefore so these are all the importance of statistics in education as a teachers all we should know that the basic thing of the statistics otherwise he cannot improve himself and also he cannot improve his students also so thank you i hope you all understood thank you